Though the extreme strain on the power grid we're seeing this week may be new to us this year, certainly the race for energy supply to meet demand has been going on for decades. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes spoke with an expert who weighs in on what's changed and how long we could continue to see annual outages like this. It was the year 2000 when rolling blackouts first hit the Bay Area. In 2001, they spread to the entire state. Since then, San Jose State lecturer Ahmed Benafa says he feels California has done as much as possible to take care of the electric grid. I look at other states like Texas, whether it's cold, whether it is, it is hot, they are suffering with this one because there is some issues with their grid. We don't have the same issues here. We are really aware of what is the problem. Stage three emergency alerts mean rolling blackouts are happening or imminent. This chart here shows that California reached that level once in 2000 and 38 times in 2001. After 2001, the next time we saw the same kind of alert was twice in 2020. Experts say over the last two decades, California has led the country in integrating solar and wind power sources to supply the grid. But at times when those clean or power sources aren't producing enough and demand is high, battery sources are used or, as a last resort, sources that use fossil fuels. Now, a lot of steps have been taken in the last 20 years to help fill in the gaps for electricity during higher demand periods. This San Jose power plant behind me started operating in 2003 to help fill gaps when demand was at its highest. It's since evolved to run via natural gas and other sources, and it's not the only one of its kind, but still, strain on the energy grid continues to be a problem. A major part of that issue, according to experts is climate change. For example, if you're talking about some of the hydraulic powers that use the water to generate the power is now a little bit dry because of the, the dry weather. As the impacts of climate change continue, will the strain we've seen on the state's power grid and the potential rolling blackouts be something we live with annually? Banafa says it depends on several factors. Change, so. The solution has multiple parties that they have to take action before they can say that we're not going to face something like this. Uh, better, you know, uh, uh, resources for the grid so the grid can keep pumping power to us, better practices by us, and also dealing with that with the climate change as a reality. In the South Bay, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News.